this makes me very happy. It's Monday morning. I'm heading off to see my hi-fi guy. And this is the importance of making contacts and how it can change your reselling business. Check it out. So good morning, taxers. Hope we're all doing well. Hope sales are all good throughout the weekend. Like I just said in the intro, I'm off to see my hi-fi guy. If you saw yesterday's boot sale video, if you didn't, link's up there. Obviously, come back here when you've watched that or watch this after you've watched this one. Yeah, it's a small boot sale. Picked up a few things, decent profit to be made, but I bumped into what I call my hi-fi guy. I see him at my local Sunday boot sale throughout the spring and summer. He gets like good speakers, hi-fi, stereo equipment, things like that. Um, he knows me. Obviously, he gives me good deals. He's served me very, very well, very like trustworthy when he says something's working it is and if something needs slight tweaking with then it does so yeah reliable high-end stuff and i finally took his number down bumped into him yesterday uh, he sent me a load of pictures of stuff he's got throughout the winter and yeah off there today so come with me i probably won't film when i'm there but i will show you what i did get and then obviously test it out see if it's working see what i'm going to get in return on ebay and hopefully this persuades and encourages you to make your own uh, contacts get your own sort of guy or girl whoever like a constant stream of good quality stuff make them happy they make you happy everyone's happy making money that's the name of the game making money let's get going i need to get some money out and then we're off down the a12 to pick up this good quality merchandise let's get going Couldn't help myself. I see a charity shop after going. Didn't find anything, but you never know. Can't help myself. Right, money out. Been in a charity shop. Let's get going. Let's get on the road to pick up this cool stuff. Right, we are just down the road now. Don't worry, I am driving both hands on the wheel. Do not worry about that. So yeah, I won't film when I'm in there, but obviously I'll show you what I do get. And then we'll head back to the unit, the good old unit. Yeah, see what I can potentially return from this little investment. Turn left now and then your destination is ahead on the left. There we go. Turn left and we're here, right. Let's park up here, that'll do. All right. Right, we're here. Engine off. Mask on. Let's get in there. There we go. Exchange is done. I filled the boot with some good quality stuff. And I now have first dibs on the future purchases he makes that I can flip on. He knows what I do, obviously. He knows I'm full time. He does this as well, but he doesn't want to be bothering with the hassle of sending out stuff and things, which is fair enough. This uh, business isn't all about getting stuff from the start of the chain and then selling it to the end. Sometimes you have to buy from like a middleman. So if I've got a supplier or things, yeah, you have to pay up a bit, but it's good quality stuff, especially if you can trust them, you know it's gonna work. So you can spend a bit of money to then return that bit more money. So yeah, really, really chuffed, especially as I've now got first dibs on future investments. So yeah, good stuff. I just have to do that now with my shoes and boots, man. Um, yeah, uh, I forgot to take his number down as well, but uh, yeah, all good. Let's get back to the unit now. I'll show you what I've got. Some good, good stuff here. Let's go. This makes me very happy. A full table full of high-end, good quality electricals. Exactly what I like to resell. High value stuff 
and I've obviously now got first pickings whenever he gets new stuff in. He'll give me a phone call or a text, send some pictures over, do a deal. I go and pick it up and then I can list it. All working, all been tested already. So all I've got to do, I've obviously double check it. That is definitely working. Picture it, list it, sell it. This stuff sells fast, it sells strong. So yeah, perfect stuff, really, really good. Let's show you what I did get. So all this here cost 150. Everything here you can see, absolute bargain. Uh, we've got some Tannoy speakers. These came with this unit here, Technics. We're gonna split these out. Nice pair of Tannoys, like bookshelf type speakers. Mercury M1, really nice, made in the UK as well. Nice quality things. These on their own with a sort of black ash finish. These should be 50, 60 pound maybe on their own, plus postage. It's a really good start there. I always like seeing Tannoy stuff at the boot sales and things. So yeah, good solid start. My standard VHS player here, got a Panasonic Superdrive Jet Search. I've had this loads of times, it's one of the better ones to get. Got the remote control as well. Obviously just make sure, it, double check it's working and playing okay. This is a nice sort of 35 to 45 pound sale plus postage. Really nice unit there, just a few marks on the top but that normally happens with age anyway as things are getting used. Underneath this one we have a iKatsu, so I'm not sure what this one is but it's brand new never been used it's a digital free view receiver with hard drive twin tuner yeah not really sure but i have opened it up obviously all brand new still got the polystyrene it's got the instructions so yeah not a known brand that i've heard much of anyway but again all within the same 150 pound deal uh so yeah brand new it's got hard drive free view sounds good to me i'm guessing maybe 40 50 pounds hopefully brand new but yeah gotta do a bit more research on that one We've got two sets of nice hi-fi sort of stereo equipment here. This is a Technic set. Uh, it didn't come with these speakers. These are my testing speakers. Uh, and here we've got an Akai um, turntable and Iowa. I think that's how you say it, Iowa, like the rest of it. Yeah, really, really nice. This is probably the stronger of the two. I could sell them all together. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Or I could split them out. Obviously the CD player, the amplifier will sell well. And also the cassette deck. They all sell strong. The tuner won't sell as strong. Normally the tuners are the weakest item. Or it's just like basically a bigger radio. So yeah, I'm undecided. Uh, if I did split them out, I think the cassette deck would get 40 to 50. The amplifier, sort of 50 to 60, maybe a little bit more. A CD player again, maybe 35, 40, 45. Or I could sell the whole lot, maybe try 180 to 200 uh, without the speakers, just um, as the complete set, all matching, really nice, all working. Obviously, I've been testing it out. I was going to test them on the video, but obviously, I can't play copyright music, which is a bit hard when testing CDs and things. Uh, let's press play here for a second. There you go. Yeah, I won't play anymore. But I've yeah, tested it working. The cassette deck's all working. Everything's working great. So once this sells separately or together, everything else is pure profit, pure gravy. Yeah, absolutely awesome pickup. Same with these. Uh, I might actually keep these together. Uh, I'll sell this one separately, the Akai. It's only a mini one. It'll only be worth sort of 25, 30. Just a tiny little thing. I've had one similar before and it went for about that money. But these Iowa's, Iowa. I'm pretty sure I'm saying it. Let me know if I'm saying it wrong. These are all matching again. I might not split these out. I will sell these together because they actually come with their original stand. Original like wooden stand, which is quite unusual. It's got the sticker here showing that. So yeah, I'm definitely going to keep these together actually, thinking about it. We've got the stereo receiver, another cassette player and the CD player. Looks really cool. Definitely 80s or early 90s. Really nice thing. Like I said, that one's 25, 30 maybe. And then this, all matching. Got this original rack, so it's all together. Uh, probably, I might obviously aim high, so maybe 150 put offers on. Might aim a bit more, I'm not sure. It well, depends what mood I'm in when it comes to listing it. But all I know is strong money yet again. We'll say safe, one to 120 as a set of three without the record player and without any speakers, obviously. Yeah, really, really strong money. And this, is the importance of getting a guy or a contact. Obviously, you've got to make them happy. Sometimes I might have to pay up a little bit or might have to buy something that I'm not too sure on. But in the long run, you've got to think of the long run. Uh, you're going to get good quality stuff. Like I filled the table now. This is going to, uh, this is a few hundred pounds worth of items here that's going to sell fast. So yeah, keep each other happy. 
keep it moving that's what it's all about especially when you're full-time obviously i've got to keep getting the money in every month especially now throughout the winter i should have taken this number down a long long time ago but i finally don't now and it's already paying off awesome stuff i'm not sure how often he'll get stuff like this throughout the winter don't be shy get making contacts get talking with fellow dealers and sort of specialist dealers like if they're at brute sales or just other resellers maybe maybe they just want to get rid of stuff fast so yeah make contacts make friends swap numbers um yeah not everyone wants to get the high high-end price some people buy it really cheap and then they're sort of the middleman so they make a little bit of profit turning the stuff over quick and then you're there to pick it up in the middle and then sell it at the top end on ebay and things like that so get hustling thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this hope you learned something hope it's inspired you to make that move and yeah definitely a game changer so definitely definitely try it out thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video see you later